Hello and welcome to my insanity for today. So this is an automatic shooting gallery. Now, this is on a server that I've been playing with, with the Goo community. Um, there, I have plenty of other videos that are um, me putting this together and everything, but I do want to do a... Uh, they're, they're like throughout the season and they're all sparse together and everything, so I do want to do a video that is um, showing you how it works and then... An, or showing it to you and then another video that actually has um, showing all of the electrical components. Uh, they're going to be two separate videos. So this one is just an introduction to welcome to my firing range. So it turns on with an HH, HBHF sensor, detects when someone's in the room. We got some signs telling people how to play. I've found that these signs don't actually tell people what they need to know. There needs to be another sign telling people not to open the door. The door, you can't put a lock on it. The door is there to... I'll explain that one in the other one. But anyways, so you step up, you've got four game modes that you can pl you can choose from. The idea is people pay their little bit of scrap, and then, um, you know, so you've got all targets for 60 seconds, door will open, you know, and then it's just basically your regular old firing range. You can shoot all you want to, you can, uh, you know, even, you know, I'll pull out my bolt action, see if I can uh, get some some bullseyes on here, you know, maybe I, I try for some of the back targets, not be as much of a scrub as, as I am sometimes. The LED targets are a little bit harder to tell where the, uh, the bullseye is, but for the server, I'm going to add a switch that kills the lights so you're playing in the dark. I just haven't done it yet. I'm really bad at that. So the other game modes are a single target will pop up, the doors open, you have a certain amount of time to down those targets, the doors close, the targets reset, the target pops back up. The difference, this one is five seconds of um, actual scoring time, three seconds, and two seconds. So if I hit the two second one, targets reset, door opens, got two seconds to down a target. The way this system works, is as soon as the doors start to close, the uh, scoring turns off. So this is a round counter. It tells me when a new round starts. This is my score counter. It tells me how many I've downed so far. And for example, I'll miss one intentionally here. So I'm at three. So, okay, so I got it down before the doors closed, right? But I'm still at three because the doors started closing. The reason for that is so that, um, the doors are completely open the entire time the scoring is active. Uh, because if I had the doors closed by the time the scoring is over, you lose a second of shooting time. If I'm shooting over here and the doors have started closing, you're you're losing time that you can actually be shooting the target. But anyways, uh, so I've got this set for 10 rounds. Um, you can do the same thing, like if you want to make it challenging, just tell yourself, hey, I only get one shot per uh, per round here. That's my one shot. I can't shoot it again. And you know, if I don't get a bullseye, then I don't get a score. Boom, I got a shot that time. Uh, so that's essentially what it is. I'll take you to the back room real quick. You can see a little bit of the nonsense. So this is how this works. It takes, you can make it work on seven batteries. Um, the eighth battery just runs the lights. Um, for like the rest, of, not not the actual lights in the gallery, but the lights for the rest of the system. But this wall here, you've essentially got um, all of the lights and the buttons is on one battery. Uh, this is one game mode on another battery. This is a game mode. This is a game mode. And then this is a game mode. Um, each of those have their own battery. And then these are all ore trees that essentially just tell it, hey, I'm coming from this system, you know, go do a thing. Or I'm coming from this system, go do a thing. This down here essentially just tells which target to pop up. This is the uh, set and reset for the memory just to give the, uh, the randomizer a fair chance and it does some power stuff. But, uh, and then there's a really, really small system up here just to block power when it's not in use. You can tell that, uh, 
there's a little bit of power going on here, but the rest of this isn't powered right now. But um, so that's that. Um, I'll do another video that just has um, all the circuitry stuff laid out in it. Um, if you want to see it, if you want to try and uh, learn some stuff from it, replicate it, anything like that. But thank you for watching. I appreciate you and I will see you next time.